question earlier about the Pakistani election. Yeah. You said it is for the Pakistani people to choose their government. And not only, as he mentioned, is uh, the former prime minister in jail at the time, but you're also seeing something rather extraordinary where members of his party who are filing to run for office, and there's a lot of video evidence from around the country that you, you may have seen this, they're filing to run for office and they're being arrested and abducted at the at the filing office. They're also arresting the quote unquote approvers, people who signed their petitions as well. So you're not going to have any candidates for the people to choose from. So how can Pakistani people choose their government if there's nobody to choose from on, on the ballot? And is this something uh, that is concerning? So I will say without commenting on that, the, the specific matters, we want to see um, free and fair elections that are conducted in accordance with Pakistan's laws. It's not for the United States to dictate to, to Pakistan um, uh, how it conducts it, the spe exact specifics of how it conducts its election, um, but to make clear that we want to see those elections conducted in a free, fair, and peaceful manner that includes freedom of expression, peaceful assembly and association, uh, and ultimately a full, uh, open, reliable vibrant democratic process. But, but it feels like election rigging of this level would m merit sanctions if any other, if a Maduro-like government did something like this, it would seem like I, the State Department might come down a little harder. This is 250 million person democracy. Uh, and we will continue to support uh, democratic expression and uh, a vibrant democracy in Pakistan, but I don't have anything to preview from here. And you just said you will continue to support democratic suppression. Is that I said expression. Oh, expression. Expression. Sorry. Expression.